Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, right, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, man, when you think about muscle car, like you think about muscle car, you go, you know what, Camaro, definitely a muscle car. Then you think, you know what, Super Sport, yeah, definitely muscle car. How about SS 396, wow, for sure muscle car. 396, 375 horse, and then you throw in a color combination like this, and you're like, man, that is one great looking car. I'm smiling about it because I'm thinking to myself, wheeling this down the road. Inside these showrooms here, this car is stands out on its own, but it's surrounded by other supermodels here. On the road, when we go for a test drive later in the video, and you see that, you're gonna go, yeah, now I get what he's saying. This car is so hot outside. Going to a car show, going to dinner in this car, taking the kids out somewhere, going in with another couple, whatever, going by yourself, do whatever, drive to work, right? Can you imagine therapy to work on a Friday, going to take this in there? Very, very nice. All right, so let's talk about some paint. Dover White has made a big comeback. I don't know if you know, this is 2017, but the hottest color for new cars is white this year, all right? And so uh, uh, how cool is it that this car here has kind of come into its own 40 and 50 years later? All right, so the clarity of, uh, a little dust on there, trying to make it so you can see. The clarity of white on white is very difficult to see, but I just wanted you to see that. But like these vents here are, are all replaced. The chrome uh, around the car, the grill, the emblems, uh, the screws, the front spoiler, all those things like that. Those are the things that make up for a great looking car. A lot of times you'll see these cars without front and rear spoilers. I think they have to have them. They look great. They kind of add to the whole muscular appearance of the car. Hence the reason why today's most supercars have them as well. All right. So as we walk around, let's look at some other super sport things that you would see. The correct wheels on here. Now these are radial tires that didn't come with radial tires in 1969. I think it makes a huge difference in the drive we can put the wide oval tire that would have come on here. All right, we can change those out for you. Just let us, uh, uh, you can talk to us about that. But anyway, your call. If you're gonna drive it a lot, you wanna wheel it, these drive much better like this. If you're gonna go to a lot of shows, uh, which this car would look really great in a show, uh, then you might wanna put the bias fly tires on there, your call. Uh, you can also have two sets, which some people do. All right, so the Camaro SS call outs, um, the gills there on the fenders, right? And as we walk around and we see things like this vinyl top, like I'm not a, always a huge vinyl top fan, but I love it on this car because it pulls the whole car in colors together. So you have the SS stripe, right? And then you have the white hound's tooth interior. We'll talk about what's the difference between white hound's tooth and black hound's tooth once we get inside. All right, and this right here adds this kind of convertible look to the car and it looks really, really nice. Come on back here. Some important things to see. For instance, the blacked out tail panel, you're gonna see that on big block cars. All right, SS there, the correct SS pipes, and then it's very detailed underneath here. Right? There's a nice big fat 12 bolt hanging down. And this car sounds spectacular. Wait till we start it for you. Really. Wow, that car sounds really nice. All right. Okay, so come on in. Some detailed stuff that you need to see. For instance, like the correct valve covers are on here. Power steering. A lot of people forget that uh, these cars didn't come standard with power steering. Disc brakes, they came standard on the Super Sport package, but not power disc brakes. All right? We put these on, these are the battery toppers where you get a real nice battery. The engine's detailed underneath, the 375 call out on there, new hood pad. I like the idea of you being able to go to a car show, open the hood and stand around and go, wow, that is really a great looking car. People come up and they want to talk to you. And if you don't want to go to a car show, just go to your garage and go hang out in this car, open the hood and just talk to it for a little bit. You'll feel much better. All right, so come in here, some detailed stuff here. You got the right, correct mat in here, jacking instructions, spare tire, all right? Detailed, splatter painted the correct color and then clear coated over top of the splatter paint so that it doesn't get uh, all rusty and chalky, right? Uh, new gaskets, uh, weather strip, all that good stuff. And that great looking tail end of the car, uh, which is probably what a lot of people who are gonna try to do a little something with you might see a lot of. All right, so as we come in here, all right, this is what I feel one of the greatest looking interiors of any car ever made. The houndstooth interior is so cool, so kind of period correct. Um, 
one of the things here is that a lot of people don't know the difference between white houndstooth and black houndstooth because this part is white and black. It's not this part that's white houndstooth or black houndstooth, it's the surrounding part, the surrounding part. So if you had a black houndstooth interior, it would be black like the carpet, the door panels would be black, everything inside would be black, only this section was white. I love the look of this white houndstooth interior and it is a brand new interior. We installed it here, new seat foams. You can see how nice they are with buttons all in there. Factory console with console gauges. And don't minimize a lot of these things that I'm talking about because these things are very expensive. First off, this interior is a couple grand. This console and gauges, $2,500. You say, well, come on, son, it can't be. I saw online that the gauges are 600, the console is about 700. Yeah, but you have to wire up all the gauges. You have to install this, right? You're gonna want a factory tack because you probably have the gas gauge here. The gas gauge just moved down to here, right? There's a lot that goes on to make these cars to this place they are. This is a custom stereo, even though it looks kind of stock. It's really a digital custom sound system. Speakers in the kick panels down there, all right? And if you wanted, the last thing I would probably do on this car, if you wanted to, and you don't have to, is just change it out to the three-spoke aluminum wheel. This is the correct SS wheel. They have a three-spoke wheel that looks a little bit sportier. Uh, but some people really like this, and so I don't want to talk yet, but I just want to let you know that's an option, all right? Things like the lights working inside the car, big deal, uh, new visors and mirrors and trim. All this little stuff and energy that goes into it to make for a, a great driving car and a great experience is wrapped up in here right now that you can turn key and drive this weekend. All right, so we'll close up the video with things like it has a great retro sound stereo system in the car. Killer Dover white looking paint, right, with the white houndstooth interior. This is a very, very sexy car. Four speed, great sounding under the hood and tons of power and a great driving car as well. So. Uh, if you can find a way to get one really, really nice Camaro Supersport SS396 375 in your garage, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it. This is what 375 for sounds like. A little lumpy, but it's smooth, man. Look, steering wheel's nice and smooth. No shaking inside of the car. Factory tack. Wham, wham. Listen to that rumble out the back.